This is SOLIDWORKS Tutorial Lesson 5.3. In this lesson we're going to be talking about making assembly drawings. Let's go ahead and start by making a new drawing. And We've seen this all before. We're going to go ahead and load our title block again. And go to where it's stored. And hit OK. All right, let's get out of this property manager for now and right click and go to properties and change it to third angle projection and then hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and do the view layout and the model view. And we're going to choose our fence assembly to make a drawing of it. So we'll go ahead and open that and then let's go ahead and drop this out here. So this is our front view. And it actually lets us do the projections. So we're going to drop one up on the top for our top view and one to the right for our right view. So that does it automatically. And then we'll click the green check. We can see that the scale has been changed to 1 to 12. This fence is actually pretty big compared to this sheet. So we're drawing it as a twelfth of the size. And let's see. We can't see the the horizontal boards very well. So let's change this display type from the hidden lines removed where it is now to the hidden lines visible. Now we can see those lines behind it. Okay, we want to put dimensions on there so let's go to annotations and model items again. And here is the source we have the entire model which will in insert in the assembly dimensions but then also some of the part dimensions we actually want to click on only assembly. Okay, The assembly dimensions are ones that are used to uh, position the parts but not to dimension the parts. So let's insert these in to see what we mean. So let's click the green OK. So you can see that the only two dimensions that are inserted in are these 18 inch and then 12 inch. And these are the dimensions that are in the mates of these horizontal boards that position their height. So we don't need the size of these boards because that would be put in a part drawing for those boards. So the assembly drawing only contains the dimensions that are used in mate relationships. Some assemblies won't have any dimensions because they're positioned by, by their location in relation to other things and not by a dimension like this one is. So basically we can do the same thing here and make views. So we want this to be the front view. So we'll put that in really quick. And then this is the top view. And then one more view, which is the right view. So you always want to label these so that your reader knows what they're looking for. So this is the right view. Makes a good clean drawing when they know what they're looking at. All right. Now we want to add in another view. Let's make the isometric view of this. So we've already got fence selected. We'll click next and go to isometric view. And then insert that in over here. So there's our fence. And now we want, what we want to insert in is a bill of materials. So we'll go here to our annotation tab of our command manager. And then the drop down of the tables and go to bill of materials. A bill of materials is a list of all of the parts that you use to build this assembly and then it tells how many of them you need. So select a drawing view to specify the model for creating the bill of materials. So what do we want it to pull off of? So we'll click that one and we'll leave all of the defaults on this bill of materials and click the green check. So you can see it's inserting in a table that has all of the, the parts in this. There's only two. There's the vertical board and the horizontal board. That's what's used as the part number, is, is the file name. And it has a description thing. We could add in a description of what that part is if we wanted to. But let's say we don't want that. So we can right click in our table and say delete the column. So it's a lot like Excel that you can add and delete columns. So that's the bill of materials that we want. And now what we want to do is we want to add um, balloons that show the numbers for what the item numbers are on this isometric view. So let's click on auto balloon 
and then let's click on that drawing view there. So you can see that that adds in these balloons that have the numbers in. And then you can move these around and have them point better to what you want them to show. Let's have them point to the middle of this board here. And you can see that the leader changes a little bit to a circle instead of an arrow. That way you can see that it's aiming towards the face of that object instead of an edge. Then we'll move this one out a little bit. Let's see what happens if we move it to point to that edge there. All right, that's a little bit more clear. So we know that two is these two horizontal boards right here, and there's two of them. And then one is the, all of the vertical boards, and it counts 10 of them. So anyway, this is a basic assembly drawing. It's pretty simple. So it has the third angle of use, and an isometric view usually, and then a bill of materials that tells how many of each is. And then you also might add a, a thing that says cost here, maybe how much each part, each part costs. So you can add anything to that bill of materials. Anyway, that's the assembly drawing.